Hey guys, we're Slot Number Magoos here, and we are here to talk about E3, with the first conference being EA. This is going to be the first video in a six video uh, yeah. series or so, talking about 2017's E3. Hi guys, as always, I am Schmook. <laughs> I'm Chris. Right here. I am Josh. <laughs> what? Whoa. That's my name, dude. <laughs> That's you. That's something. That's okay, new. anyway. Um, the only big thing about EA this year at E3, essentially, is Battlefront 2. We got a lot of gameplay. A lot. Um, people were able to play it on the floor and all that, and then just what they showed at the conference itself was awesome. Chris, would you like to say what? Chris, uh, Chris, Chris has some complaints. I, I, I mean, I don't have a, Okay. <laughs> Um, anyways, he, as I'm running around as a clone, fighting the Separatists, I don't want to see Ray running past me. It takes me right out of it. It's not realistic to me, and I just don't like it at all. And, and it goes for any other hero. Do you want it to be, I don't really know like the whole realism type thing. I don't really... Okay. If you're trying to live a fantasy, I would like somewhat accurate stuff to be in it. I would like to see Obi-Wan or, or uh, Kid Fisto or... Kiani Mundi, any Jedi Knight that actually served in the Clone Wars or around that time, a set of Rey, who was not even alive, who would not be serving in the Galactic Republic. It's kind of dumb to me, actually. So, that's just my thing. That's my only complaint about it. But, I mean, I'm buying this game solely just on the basis of this Clone Wars. I love the Clone Wars. It's, like, my favorite thing. Yeah, um, same here. So, Clone Wars, to me, is one of the most interesting, like, aspects of Star Wars is because I just love... I just love like the final, like, I love the show, so just to be able to play as clones versus droids would be awesome. So, and it, of course I love all the characters in like prequel trilogy and all that, so to play as Maul, possibly Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan when he was young in his prime, uh, yeah. Kid Fisto as Chris said, I don't think it will happen, it might happen, but um, yeah, people like that. And that's just really awesome. And of course, it'll be really cool for like First Order stuff, it'll like, probably, be, it'll probably be fighting on a... Starkiller base that was shown in uh, episode 7 and as we know that uh, Kylo Ren, Rey, Finn and Captain Phasma are all going to be in this game so there's probably going to be more people eventually uh, as like time goes on but that's all we know for now so for yeah now. I I don't know I was happy about everything I saw I on the other hand like the idea of just the the new type of stuff it could add to being able to play any hero like in any era, I think that'd be cool. It adds like a new dynamic to what's going on. So like Darth Vader and the Clone Wars or something. I mean, it's it's not accurate obviously, but it, it, I think I don't know. I think it'd be fun. It's kind of crazy. Like you can you can switch it up so much. I think which I think is cool. Um, everything looks beautiful. I love the the space like the space battles and like the air battles look look like they look better. Oh, yeah, space battles. It looks look like great. it's more like yeah. intuitive. And stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I I was completely happy with it. Oh, yeah, it looks great. Joshua, I thought it looked fun. Um, uh, I like how there's the mechanic of you have to unlock what your hero actually can do. Yeah. So not everyone's hero is the same. Yeah, I like that. Um, which but could also be bad because there might be some stuff behind like a paywall, or someone could like pay to win essentially and unlock like Maybe. so many credits to upgrade their hero. Maybe. Describe what you mean. Like, because like, there's not going to be any DLC, but there's probably going to be like microtransactions, yeah. and I'm I'm just thinking that maybe that's how they'll implement them into the game. I feel like those credits are made different for microtransactions, though. Like, I think it's just it's based on no the credits in game. No, yeah, the credits. They they talked about this in the you have to like the credits is what you want. No, I yeah. thought you had you to have no no, no no no. That's like during the game, like you spawn in, you, you earn. Group. Yeah, you're all like the same thing, but then as you like kill keep killing people, you'll get credits, and eventually you can get enough credits to play as Ray or Han. Yeah, you, it's like you click oh, okay. something or Maul or you know anyone. Whoever, it, yeah. whoever it is, okay. or just upgrade your guns or something. Yeah, like in game power ups. I just feel like there's gonna be some sort of you pay to get something or whatnot. Because um, I know I know that the deluxe edition you get um. I don't remember what you get with the deluxe edition. You get some guns. Like skins. Get some skins. It's not just skins. It's like you get like a, a deluxe like, I don't know. I don't um, know okay, here. That's pretty weird. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm looking for what's in the deluxe. Uh, 
Last Jedi outfits. Well, I'll, uh, I'll we know this epic lightsaber mastery stuff, stuff like that. If you pre-order the game, you'll get like skins for Rey and uh, Kylo <laughs> uh, for the Last Jedi, so they'll look different. Okay, here's what's in the deluxe. Uh, upgraded versions of all four trooper classes. So what is four, that? Four epic ability upgrades, instant weapon unlocks. <sighs> Yeah, that's the one thing I didn't like was the instant weapon unlock. Now everyone had like a uh, hot D- at the beginning, right at the beginning, and it was really overpowered yeah, at the beginning. They nerfed it though. They did, but it was just like they nerfed the shit out of that game. It was a lot of stuff that was just overpowered. Like, turrets. Oh, in the beta, the turrets like yeah. you could. Oh, the not... turrets were unreal. Same with the sniper. Yeah, I don't remember the sniper. Yeah, the sand, the sand. I couldn't even use that thing when I finally unlocked it because it was so bad. Yeah. No, it's not even good. Yeah, no, yeah. it's not even good anymore. What the sand? Like the, the sand people blaster. I when I used it, it was really good. Yeah, I could not use it at all. Oh, so it, when it, it kills, so like, right people. Yeah, I just, I thought it, when they nerfed it, I could not use it. I, I'm really excited, on, honestly, like, I'm excited the most about, like, the character customized things, like the costumes and everything. Oh, that, yeah. actually, oh, yeah. so that, that's not a new, uh, me- me- it's not mechanic. A new co- yeah, it's not a new mechanic when it comes to Battlefront. Like I was saying, the PSP Battlefront, you could, do, you could, you could do that. You could actually edit the color of your troopers too, of your team. I hope they bring that back. And you could you could have different like clone costumes. It wasn't exclusive to your class. So like in the first Battlefront or the second Battlefront, and you could like have different clone. You could have like different like not even clone. Like if you're a rebel, you could you could be playing as a Rodian or a like that's been like a different that's that's been a thing throughout that Battlefront Renegade Squadron. That's that's why it's my favorite Battlefront because it's the most customizable one. And I think I like the weapons definitely on that one better. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll I wish you guys could have the changed the PSP one. Played it. Yeah, the PSP one is it's one of the better ones. I I think. All right. Um, so I guess now that's a good amount for Battlefront. Uh, I guess you'll see me and Brad. Uh, it'll just be us. Then. We'll be putting up videos or whatnot. We're uh, streaming Battlefront too. Uh, but anyway, so another thing from EA, they announced a new IP from Bioware called Anthem. Dude, they showed more gameplay at the Xbox conference, but we'll, yeah. we're just gonna put it in this EA uh, thing because that's where it was announced. Um, it looks really cool. It's kind of like an open world. It reminds me of Destiny in a sense, but also with like Iron Man features. You're like you're in this like yeah, uh, mech suit. Yes, X Exo mech like suit of some sort. So and it's really cool. Like the second they started to fly, I was already in for this game. Yeah, like it looks really cool. It's it's completely open world, and you can like. You have like parties, so no matter like where you are in the game, like people can just join. Yeah, you can just join your squad or whatever, and then you can talk in like real time. Like everything is real time. It's really cool. I just know there's like a lot of like stuff you can do. So I know like in the gameplay, they're like saying, "Oh, there's a cave over here. We should check that out. Get some XP later on, stuff like that." And then like once they kill like a lot of these, like I don't know what they're called, but she gets or uh, the person who's playing gets like a weapon skin. That's a legendary, so I guess there's gonna be like different variants of skins for your guns. <laughs> oh, oh, that, I guarantee, or I, just different weapons. Or just different, different weapons, weapons in general. Tools. You'll find. And I can't wait because I really hope that the um, the mech stuff is like customizable, like like crazy. So like you know you won't find people that just look like it's all just the same yeah. looking suits. I hope it's all different. even in the gameplay they look different. So all people, yeah. So well, there's gonna be different classes. Yeah. Just forget it, it's Carson. Um, Shout out to music producer Carson, but um, I really like I like that there's different classes of the mechs, and I like that, that hopefully there's going to be a ton of customization because that's one of my favorite parts in any game is just customizing how I look. Yeah, no, for sure. Because it's part of the immersion, I think definitely. Mm-hmm. And that's gonna be a fun game that you'll probably see me and Brad playing on PS4. Uh, um, hopefully you guys get that too. But yeah, I just want to be able to know. explore. Um, uh, since it's a Bioware game, there might be some sort of story element to it. If they for can sure. implement maybe like a a destiny type multiplayer where everyone's like in a raid or everyone's like in a party. Yeah, but there's story. But there's an actual story in like Mass Effect, like a Mass Effect story. Essentially, but you have multiple people with you. Yeah. And I don't know if that's also like Destiny though. Yeah, no, like not. I'm not looking. I don't. There's no choices to be made in Destiny. This is a Bioware game. But you don't know if there's gonna be choices. Bioware looking at looking. Okay, looking at okay. Dragon Age and Mass Effect. Okay, both. but maybe they want to try something different. I don't think so. If they're, they're gonna, if they're gonna try to make this a competitive at, okay, because it's described looking as at, EA's answer to okay. Destiny. That's what it's described. And as. Looking at Kotor, Mass Effect, okay. and oh, Dragon Age. Dragon Age. Come on. I, I mean, okay, it's gonna I'm, be. I'm aware, Chris. I know, but it's not just a pure RPG. It's an. It's like a. 
It's well, amazing. Well, that and well, I don't. I can't. They've really, never made anything like this. I know. I can't really think of any. I think they have this. Not, this is the first of its kind from Bioware. Well, I they have. Really I don't. Know. Have they made a multiplayer? Or anybody made a multiplayer game with actual decisions that affect stuff? Like not, not like this when it's like Destiny. No. I think Bioware could be doing that. They could. We don't know though. I'm gonna say the likelihood is no. Yeah, I'm saying no, but I, I could be. I think there's gonna be. I don't think. I think maybe there's gonna be like dialogue like it, but not like your choices will affect the rest of the story type deal. You know, because if you want everyone to be like in the same world, if it's gonna be like the same world like Destiny is, it has to be a, a different it has to be decision. A straight story, yeah. Because what if one decision makes it to where, like, there's this ship crashed here. But then it wouldn't load for other people who made yeah, it. I don't know. Yeah. They, I don't know. They, I think, we yeah. have no idea what it's going to be. Yeah, we'll know probably next year because it comes out 2018. But I have a feeling. Is it early 2018? When, I don't think it said early. I think it just said 2018. I think I have a feeling that it's going to be at E3 next year. We're going to see more stuff of it at E3. That's I don't think it's going to come. I don't think it's going to come out before. That's a shame, dude. I want it. I just want it soon. It looks so cool. Yeah, it looks really cool. Um. um is there any, if there's anything else that we missed, yeah, so, um, I don't think so. Yeah, so guys, that's it for EA. Um, thanks again. Tune in for our next video, which will be Xbox, all right? We're going to slap them up with Goose. Um, again, slap that like button. Um, follow our Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. Uh, Instagram. 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 Look in the description. 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 Our it's Twitch. Twitch. Yeah, it's all I just made our Twitch. Twitch. That's so, true. Yeah. Twitch. Yeah, so, you can watch us play video games. It'll be, it'll be cool. Listen to some commentary. It'll be it's good stuff. Oh, yeah, it's good stuff. So remember, follow everything we have. Um, I'm Schmook, as always. I'm Chris. Brad here. Josh. And we're the Slap Nova Goose. I hang out.